guys, it's Marika Lake here and welcome back to my channel. I live on the west coast of Australia with my hubby Greg and we homeschool our four kiddos. I have Will who's in grade 8, M is in grade 4, Cruz is in grade 2 and little Jackson is in pre-primary. And we have been homeschooling here at the Lake House Homeschool for four years now. In today's video, I am going to share with you what I kind of do to wrap up our homeschool year. So we come to the end of our homeschool year for 2022 here in the Lake House Homeschool. It is uh, December now, um, but I actually finish up my homeschool at the end of November. So no homeschool work in December, just purely because we are so busy here in our house uh, doing lots of various things. So I wrap up school and we finish uh, pretty much on the last day of November and we have all of December for our summer holidays. But I just wanted to walk through you, what I uh, walk through with you what I do to close out a homeschool year. So one of the uh, first things we do at the end of our homeschool uh, year is we always uh, do a Christmas uh, unit study to close to close out. So I will if I want to finish at the uh, end of November I do start my Christmas unit study a little bit earlier um, so that I'm finished by November and we can have December off. So yes our Christmas tree does get decorated early here in our house our decorations come out the Christmas movies and the Christmas music starts playing early and we do the uh, Christmas unit studies from gather round homeschool and I absolutely love their Christmas unit studies they have two and I usually rotate them through each year so one year uh, we did the first Christmas unit study then the next year we did Christmas around the world and then we're back on to the third year and we're doing um, the first Christmas unit study again. So we don't do the same thing each year. We kind of rotate the two through. Um, so I have done flip throughs of those beautiful uh, Christmas unit studies from Gather Brown Homeschool. If you would like to have a look at them, I will fly a card at the top of um, this video and also put links in the description box down below for you. If you wanted to go and check out those Christmas unit studies, if you wanted to fit them in this year, or if you're looking for something for next year, we absolutely love um, those unit studies. And so we will always uh, finish up the school year with that. So we stop all our other um, homeschool work when we do that. We might just continue with reading and math, but everything else kind of finishes up and we, all the other things that we're doing like history and geography and all those kind of things, we just do that Christmas unit study in the last couple of weeks of our um, homeschool, um, homeschool work, which is the last couple of weeks in November. We also finish out our year with some celebrations. So we have a couple of different homeschool groups that we spend time with during the year. So we get together with those groups and just have a fun uh, celebration day to close out the year. So I have a small group, um, homeschool group that we meet together, which is just a couple of families. Uh, so we kind of had a last day of school celebration where we went to uh, a local place here, which is called Rebound, which is like a trampoline park. And the kids um, had practically had the whole place to themselves. I think there's only two other kids there. Uh, so we had fun at Rebound and then it was back to my house and they had uh, they had lunch together. They had pizza um, for lunch and then they hung out together and then us mum sat down and had a nice uh, lunch together as well. Um, and then I have another uh, larger group that uh, we meet together weekly and usually we have one last fun day um, for the year where we'll go um, and do something fun. We might make Christmas cards together. It's it's summer here in Australia, so we're usually always at the beach swimming um, or at a playground and things like that. But we always kind of close out um, the year with having at least one fun day. Um, not that the other homeschool days aren't fun, <laughs> but one like celebration fun day uh, where we close out the year and celebrate the year that we've had. And then another thing I like to do is actually go out for dinner with the uh, couple of mums um, that are in my life that we homeschool together. Um, if we can't fit it in, um, at the end of the year then we'll definitely go in January where we just go out for dinner together to celebrate another year homeschooling our beautiful ch children just to celebrate that and to encourage each other um, for the year that is gone and the year to come and I just love that special time um, with those mums encouraging each other sharing with them our highs and our lows um, and just yeah just encouraging each other for the year that we've had and moving into the year to come. Another thing that I do at the end of the year with my children is we uh, help 
um, serve the homeless and the needy in our city. We actually have a couple of uh, charity organisations that we run and one of them is particularly uh, for the homeless and the needy where we um, hand out food. Um, so my children will help in that process of gathering uh, lots of food to hand out Christmas hampers. They will be involved in purchasing presents and gathering presents from other people to hand out to people um, involved in serving a homeless meal that we serve. Um, so December is quite busy with us uh, kind of serving our community. Uh, it is for my husband and I, but we also involve our children in this process as well as much as we can. So they'll be involved in all the things like going out and purchasing um, Christmas gifts um, or we uh, become a drop off point where other people can uh, drop off their donations to us and we get that down to the charity to get handed out. So my children are involved in collecting those and delivering them. My children will be involved in packing the hampers. We get all of these vegetables donated and all of this food donated and as an organisation we purchase things as well and we pack something like two, over 200 uh, hampers to go out to our local city. So my children are involved in packing those hampers and then my older children are involved in actually um, then handing those out on the day. We have a Christmas meal that we serve as well and so I love having my children involved in helping um, the um, our city and our community and so that's why we like to finish up um, homeschool in November so December we can concentrate on all the fun Christmas things and giving back to our city as well. And then there's all the fun nitty gritty homeschool mama things that I have to do at the end of the year as well, like writing up school reports for my moderator, organizing portfolios and all those kind of things. I actually like to do those uh, before my summer holidays starts. And so if December is a super busy month for me, I try to uh, slot time into November to actually get those things done. So at the end of the, uh, actually throughout the year, I'm actually... Um, filling out my children's report as I go. I just find that that's easier. Um, as we are doing things, I'll write down the things that we've been doing and places that we have been going um, as I go throughout the year. So when it comes to the end of the year, it's kind of just finishing off and finalizing everything and writing it out nice and neatly to show my moderator. Now, I actually have um, the form that the uh, moderator likes to have filled out. It's a standard form that everyone does. And she... Um, has emailed me a copy of that. And so that's the form that I'm just filling out. I'm just letting her know what resources and programs we use throughout the year, um, looking for progress and noting that down and looking ahead to the next year of the things that we wanna work on. So I will have that finished and finalized by the end of the school year so that I don't have to worry about it over the summer holidays. My moderator actually gets in contact with me before the school year is out and we organize an appointment because she comes at the beginning of the school year for me. And so I'd like to have every everything done and everything organized before I go on my summer holiday so I'm not thinking about homeschool at all that I can actually relax and so I will put together my children's report and I will also put together their learning portfolio as well. And this is where I just gather um, some work samples uh, throughout the year, um, any certificates that they have gotten from swimming lessons or dance class, um, any notes from any external providers that we might go to, any online results from our online programs, some writing samples, some math samples, a list of the books that my children have been reading, and I'll pop that all in their portfolio so that I can pull that out and show my moderator if I need to. And so I want that done before I go on holiday so I know that it's all done um, and ready for when she comes to see me at the beginning of the school year. I will also kind of store away all of the homeschool curriculum and things that we have been using for um, the year. So we do gather around uh, unit studies here in our house. And so my children all have notebooks. And so I'll just file them away in a box. I don't uh, throw them out just yet. I will keep them until at least until my moderator has come and written up a report for me or she, if she wants to have a look at those, then she can have a look at those. So once she's been and she has made up my report, Report for the year then I can recycle those or sometimes I just keep them for one school year and then the following year I will recycle them. I don't actually keep all of my children's work it's just too much to keep. If there are some special pieces I will take them out and pop them in their portfolios or in a special box and hold on to those but mostly I actually just recycle all of their uh, notebooks. It's not something I need to keep um, around the house so that's kind of what I do with the years uh, worth of work. 
And then I will also then begin to look at next year and what we would like to study um, homeschool wise. Um, so I will even purchase um, any books that I need to or print anything out all ready to go so that once again, I don't have to be doing anything in the January holidays. I know here in our house, we, we uh, just love our summer holidays. We do lots of swimming. We go snorkeling all the time. We don't take a holiday, but we kind of like holiday at home. Uh, this year, we're actually going to be do renting, doing renovations on our house. And so I don't want to be uh, doing anything homeschool in my summer holidays. I want to fully enjoy it and help with the building of the house. So I try to, in November or um, in December, actually organize my homeschool curriculum for the following year and order any books that I need to and print off anything that I can um, so that we're all ready to go. We start back um, for homeschool here in February in uh, Western Australia. Um, and so I have all of December off, all of January off, and I try and just have all of that organized, um, at least not, not the whole year's curriculum. I must say that. Let me clarify. I will just do term one. So as I said, we use Gather Around Homeschool here and we do unit studies. And I just purchase one unit study at a time. And so I don't buy a whole year's worth. I just get the first unit study that we're going to use in term one. And I'll purchase that. I will print that off and have that all ready to go. I will have their maths all ready to go. I'll have a book that they're going to be reading if they need new pencils. Uh, if there's any other books I want to add to our homeschool collection, um, history, whatever it is just for term one. I kind of know over the year what I'd like to do, kind of pick out four unit studies that we're going to do, um, but I, I, will, I won't purchase all of it. I'll just kind of get ready for term one. Um, so that I don't have to think about it in the summer holidays. Term one will start. I'll have everything that I need. And then as I'm going through term one, then I'll start to organize term two as I go. I just find that that really works out for me. So that's all the things that I do to close out the end of a homeschool year. I hope that you found that information helpful and that it will um, help you on your homeschool journey. If you have any questions at all, please just leave a comment in the comments box down below and I will get back to you. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I love it if you would just hit that red subscribe button. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll get notified about when my videos come up on YouTube. Again, thank you so much for watching my video today and I will see you next time. Bye.